Hello, welcome back to the Future Nerd and today we are going to discuss about the clean architecture. And the clean architecture enforces the domain driven design principle and the dependency inversion principle. So the domain driven design principle states that the dependency should be flow towards the core layer or the domain layer. And the clean architecture is the updated or you can say that the evaluated form of the onion architecture. Let's see what it looks like. And in this diagram you can see that we have an application core, user interface and infrastructure. And the application core it has the domain services and interfaces interfaces entities so everything that is most important are business domain related these things would be in the application core or you can say that the application core is the combination of domain layer or core layer and the application layer and in this diagram you can see that the application core is independent of every outer layer but the outer layers user interface or presentation layer and the infrastructure layer are dependent on the application core the core layer of the application And let's see in the horizontal diagram you would understand it better and in this diagram you can see that application core is independent of every outer layer and the infrastructure layer is dependent on the application core and the presentation or user interface layer is dependent on the application core directly and the test layer is only dependent on the application core. The user interface and the infrastructure layer are also independent of each other, but in some cases they can depend on each other as well. Let's see what would be in our the layers that we have discussed. So this is our presentation layer, the infrastructure layer and the application core layer. In the application core layer, like I said, everything that is domain, business domain related, these things would be in the application core, like the domain entities, the aggregate rules, specification, the interfaces that would be implemented by the infrastructure layer and the infrastructure layer would be implementing the abstraction defined in the application core. We would define the abstraction or interfaces in our application core layer. These interfaces and abstraction would be implemented by the infrastructure layer. And the infrastructure layer would have all of the third parties integration whether it is SMS service, email service or a database connection like whether it is a SQL MongoDB or any, any document DB or NoSQL database. All of the third party integrations would be in the infrastructure layer. And then the presentation layer would have the web application or the API or desktop application everything that is related to the user interaction would be encapsulated in that layer. So let's see 
the layers in our code this is a project based on the clean architecture and you can see that we have a core layer the infrastructure layer and the presentation layer i would discuss the shared kernel layer at the end but first i would like to discuss about the core layer so in the core layer we have the entities of the business domain and the events and handlers as well the events are some actions that we want to perform like if the user subscription gets updated and we want to send an email or anything we want to perform we we would trigger an event and it would be handled and perform some logic and these handlers are handlers are also defined in the core layer like you can see that item completed email notification handler it would send an email whenever the event is triggered for the new it for the new item or the to do item completed so for email we have also defined the abstraction here in the core layer that would be implemented by the infrastructure layer and let's see the but the infrastructure layer have it has the db connection the db context for us the repositories the email service the abstraction that we have in our core layer would be implemented in this layer and then comes the presentation layer the presentation layer would have the user interface from which the user should interact with our application it would have all the logics and you can see that core layer is independent of the infrastructure and the presentation layer core is not depending on any project but the shared kernel i would discuss the shared kernel later and our infrastructure layer is dependent on our core layer and in the same way our web application or oh sorry our presentation layer would be dependent on the infrastructure layer and now you can see that we have our core layer the infrastructure layer the shared kernel and the web or the presentation layer and in our shared kernel we are defining the shareable code that would be used in our whole application so in our shared kernel we have the base domain event the base entity the value objects and anything that we want to share in our all the layers of our application we would define them here in the shared kernel you can say that it is a common layer that would be used in our all the layers so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video and you get some knowledge from here if you like it please share and subscribe my youtube channel